Good afternoon. Ghost Cobb is here with you again, having another pipe together, hopefully. I want to thank you for taking the time to uh, sit with me. Missouri Meerschaum's legend, Rob Roy Bowl. Straight Amber Stem. And in it, Boswell's Piper's Pleasure. Good tobacco. Very good aromatic. <laughs> Fox 43 News just pulled into my driveway to go around the park over there by the lake. And I stood up and I was like, hey, I'm right here. You want to interview me? I'm right here. You don't need to park over there. You can park in my driveway if you're going to interview me. They weren't interested. They're more interested in fishermen. Wow. I thought I'd have made a great interview for the news. But apparently they thought differently. <laughs> Having a cup of mud this morning. Um, Starbucks caramel macchiatos today. Wife bought it for me. So, today I'm going to talk about fishermen. <laughs> so right across the street there's the big lake I showed Jens in other videos. Um, so they're out there getting ready to fish yesterday morning, early. And... Uh, <laughs> Some older fella pulls in, gets out with a bucket full of feed, and feeds the trout. Feeds them all. Just throws the whole bucket in there. So they're going nuts and eating it. The fishermen are all jacked because now the fish have been fed. They're going to eat that and not their bait, so they're not going to catch them. Okay? So what I'm standing over here by by me and I'm sitting here just chooching on a pipe, you know, enjoying my afternoon. And they're whining and bitching and moaning and griping about it. And I said, hey. I said, you know, he just gave the fish a fair shake. Now I'm a fisherman. He looks at me and he goes, what do you mean? I said, well, I said, it's not okay for him to feed them. But it's okay for you guys to line up with your rods and throw your lines in the water while they're stalking the fish. They're literally just putting fish in the water and you're already fishing it. Why don't you guys just line up next to the truck? They take out fish out of the truck and give them to you. You put them on your strainers and then go home with your limit. That'll save everybody the time and the effort. So, he looked at me and he was like, mm. I was like, think about it. I said, have you ever been out here and fished or been out here while they were stalking? I said, you should see it. It looks ridiculous. And the guy's like, yeah, you're right. So, I'm not trying to be an old grump. I'm just telling you that I think that he just made the, the you know, battleground fair. So now you got to work for it, you know? I'm a fly fisherman myself. It's a lot harder. you got to know what they're eating, what they're going to go for, where they're laying, how to present the fly. Any fool can put a worm on a hook or power bait on a hook and throw it in there and let it sit. Man-wise, adult-wise. Kids, I, I get it. However, my daughter is real good at fly fishing. She loves it. That's just my take on it. Sorry. Happy Thursday. I hope you guys are well. Um, 
I hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Easter's coming up. I hope everybody gets to have a wonderful day. If you have kids, I hope you get to have a great day. The weather's nice for an Easter egg hunt for the kids. You get some beautiful pictures with your family outside. Um, whatever you guys do as a family for the Easter holiday, I hope it goes well for you. Um, I truly uh, enjoy the Easter holiday. Um, you know, you have to appreciate the reason why the holiday exists. Um, I'm not going to get into my religious beliefs because I don't believe in pushing that stuff on you. Um, but after all, it is about family. It's about gathering together, having a good meal, taking pictures, letting the kids look for Easter eggs, and you know, spoiling the kids with candy or whatever you do. So, um, I just hope you guys have a great holiday. I really appreciate all the subs and the you know the views. Um, you guys have treated me really, really well since I've come to the community, and it's one of the best things that I've ever done. So. I appreciate the love and the uh, support, and um, as Berg would say, go out and find yourself a new guy and give him a sub. I did it yesterday. I found a new guy yesterday and gave him a sub. Today I'm going to do the same thing right after I hang up here with you guys. I'm going to go out there and find myself a new YouTuber, and I'm going to give him a sub. You do the same. I urge you to do the same, because we all started there, and after all, the more subs you get and the more viewers you have, the more friends you get, and just it's, it just makes overall the community a better place to be. So until we can get together, pack a pipe, or smoke that good cigar, let all that you do be done out of love. Y'all take care, and God bless.